trying to do everything that is humanly possible to make sure that they come up tops come 30th of September for the NFF presidential elections. And I have another interesting candidate to tell us what and what he has for the Nigeria Football Federation if he is elected the next president of the NFF for 2022. I'm talking about Christian Emerua. I'll be back right after that. I looked at the situation in Nigeria Football. I uh, took a very deep thought uh, to try and evaluate what is really happening within our football system. And I came to the conclusion that with my experience as someone that studied sports administration and organization up to my PhD level, as someone that has worked in the Nigerian Football Federation for 11 years, and moved up the ladder to work in the Confederation of African Football as well as FIFA, that it would be uh, unfair if I would use that word. If at this point in time, with all the experience I've gathered over the years, I fail to come back home to contribute in the position in the Nigerian football, I believe that the Nigerian football has great potential. Uh, and I can lead them and lead the Nigerian football into getting to where it should get to. And because of the various challenges within the football fraternity and within the football system in Nigeria, I felt that with my expertise, Coming back home will enable me to be able to put all those things into rest and make sure that Nigerian football gets to where it should get to. There are certain things that we look at when we, <coughs> when we try to evaluate uh, our football system. You look at the capacity development. How do we develop the capacity within Nigeria? Uh, our coaches how train how are they how are they properly trained and I can tell you that in the last five years no coach has been trained by CAF in Nigeria. Uh, our referees, what is the capacity of our referees? Our administrators, what are their capacities? Those who are organizing events, what are their capacity? What is their knowledge capacity? So all these things are very important for us if we are to move forward we are. And I felt that I have the expertise as well as the knowledge uh, to be able to come back home and give Nigerians the best that uh, we can be able to do. Football has the potential to create a lot of jobs in Nigeria. And why do I say that if I become the president, I'm going to be able to use football to create more jobs for the TV youths that we have in this country? If we organize our football properly, we would have a lot of Talk jobs that people can do and can be engaged in at different times. I take example of using the National State of Abuja for example. If you want to have a match in the National State of Abuja, uh, under safety and security, for example, you need the stewards, you know, uh, which we are not using very well in Nigeria anyway. So if you are going to engage stewards to manage the 60 something thousand capacity stadium, at least you need to have not less than 350 stewards. And if we have 350 stewards per match, then you can imagine how many stewards you'll be able to have for the whole year, you know, to manage the affairs of the match. And all this requires just a basic training on stewarding, and then you have a supervisor of them that will supervise them. So the essence of creating job for me is the ability for us to organize ourselves properly and make sure that the opportunities for these jobs to be created are created by the NFL in their own matches. Why also at the club level? By ensuring that the club licensing criteria are met and implemented fully, we are also pushing it on the clubs or forcing the club indirectly to create job opportunities. Because the club licensing criteria also has certain areas that hammers on the need for clubs to employ certain people in their clubs management structure. So these people that will be engaged in this club management structure are part of people that we are going to be creating jobs for. If the club eventually gets to the stage where they have a clubhouse, they will employ people. If they have a training site, for example, they have an academy, they will employ people. If the club goes to a stage where they have a stadium, we also employ people to work in the stadium. All I'm saying is that we need to develop a valuable echo football system. Well, uh, for me, for us to do well at international competitions, we must first do well at our local leagues. First, to well, internal, you know, and secondly, we must also make sure that 
We are transparent in the process that leads to the selection of players in our national teams, meaning to say that meritocracy must be our high water and uh, most important consideration if we must get it right at the international scene. The same thing with the people that are going to be handling our teams. We have to get the best people to handle our national teams. We cannot have people who cannot be comparable to the best in the world to handle our national teams. Nigeria is too big not to get people that can handle our national team that are very good. So we have to get people that are very good that can handle our national team. We have to make sure that any player that will be wearing our national jersey is the best in that wing that is playing. This is part of the ways by which we can make sure that we have the best players at all times in our teams, the best coaches handling these players, and with that we will be able to do well at the international stage. Not also undermining the fact that with a viable football league, the nucleus of your team will now be generated from your league. And this is something we have to really work on seriously to get our teams to do well at the international stage. For the youth competitions, then we have to work on the grassroots development program. And this is why I'm also partnering, I will intend to partner with the institutional sports so that we'll be able to harness talents from these various institutions, from primary, secondary, tertiary institutions, university, colleges of education, polytechnics. From these talents, we'll be able to have people that are from the nucleus of our national underage teams. And I believe strongly that with this kind of process and engagement, Nigeria will come back bouncing again. All right, he has told us so much about uh, what he intends to do, how he intends to change the tide in Nigeria football. And we are looking forward to see if that will come forth, that is, if he emerges the next president of the Nigeria Football Federation. All legs, I mean, everyone will be going down to Benin for the elections 30th of September 2022.